Hi there. In our previous clip, I spoke about May craft and using the season of autumn to prompt some craft ideas for the beautiful autumnal shades and the various things we did with that. Well, today I want to share with you something a little more serious um, and that being the changing seasons. As we know, we have four seasons a year, whichever country we live in. I know some people in some countries are not going to notice the changing of seasons quite ob as obviously as what we do where we live. But even so, God is consistent in nature and yet there is change. So it sounds like a little bit of a contradiction. But what we used to do is we used to take these seasonal changes and use them as prompts for us to explore and have time to just ponder, stop, stop that lorry and stop and think about what change we need to make whether it be a practical change, such as in the various household tasks that each of us are assigned to, or whether it's something deeper or more personal. But we would take time to stop when the season changed and talk about it and discuss the changes that we need to bring into our home, into our lives, into our family, and into everyday practical living. What I found resulted from this is the children didn't get tired of doing a task the whole year through, whether it be a household task that was their specific the given task. For example, emptying the waste paper bins. They didn't have to do that all year. They would do it for long enough for it to become natural to them. So it wasn't changed week by week. One, one week they're doing this task, the next week they're doing another. We actually stuck with that task for at least a season. And the season was generally the seasons of nature. Those were my prompts for me to change things in our lives and in our home. And it really worked. It seemed like they were just well times. <laughs> God's timing is always better than our own. But I'm just sharing it with you for you to find a prompt that works for your family. But the seasonal changes definitely worked for ours. And it seemed to be just the right kind of time for us to develop something in a way that became natural. Not get too bored with it or not, get, you know, not become tiresome or not changing too quickly. So I'm encouraging you to take time to make a moment to sit down and discuss what changes need to be applied. I'm remembering another value that came from this now, which I'd like to encourage you in. And that is you all know that when you're training your children, it takes time. And we know also how children spell love, T-I-M-E. And so this takes time to train a new task, for example, a household task. And once it's trained, then, then they're starting to apply it on an ongoing basis for a period of time and it becomes natural, then it actually removes that element of hard work from you having to constantly train. But if the change is coming too quickly, you will find you will be having to do a lot more training. And if it's taking too long to come, the, the change as well, you will also be dealing with other issues, which I know as parents watching this, you already know what I'm talking about. I know in your own particular unique circumstances and household, your timing needs to be specific to what is right for you. But God's timing is perfect. So let's not overlook God's perfect timing and keep that in mind. With this being the final May moment clip, I want to just share something with you that has been coming to me all the way through each one of these clips that we've done. And that is that word moment. I'm going to expand on it a little bit, <laughs> uh, taking a little bit of cr creative license here. And that is the word moment. I kept on seeing mom in the beginning of the word moment, M-O-M, and then E-N-T. And the words, the letters E-N-T were standing for me, encourage, nurture, and train. And I, I, it just kept on repeating over and over in front of me, mom, encourage, nurture, and train. And I don't know if that's of any value to you but it seemed relevant that I share with you seen as it repeatedly came to me while I was sharing these moments with you. So that's it now for our May moments. I hope you found something of value from them. Bye for now.